My name is Dr. Monet Mostert. I'm the director of the Institute for Futures Research at Stellenbosch University in South Africa. Over the last two days, we've been discussing and indeed debating the future of work and society. This is a crucial international debate because it really examines the future of something that occupies an enormous percentage of our time, the extent to which we work and find meaning in that work. So it examines the future of the nature of work and the relationship that might have with the future of the kind of society in which we might work. Many issues were raised and many debates were had. One of the interesting findings was the idea of perhaps beyond the tripartite dialogue moving towards a, what one might call a pentagonal dialogue. In other words, the idea that beyond the representation in business, government and labour, perhaps the engagement should extend to dialogue with academia, that body in society that is mainly responsible for new knowledge, the creation of new ideas. As we embark rapidly on our future journey, perhaps universities should play a much more explicit role in the social dialogue. The fifth part of that Pentagon might in fact be the engagement of citizenry perhaps through civil society bodies or perhaps new kinds of bodies might emerge. One of the reasons for that is a growing disillusionment in certain parts of the world with the level at which citizens are in fact represented by governments. Perhaps there are new ways in which citizens can play a more active role in these kinds of debates. So, with an interesting dialogue and debate commencing between labour, government, business, academia and civil society, Perhaps with the collection of these multiple partial views, we might create an alternative future for work and society. One of the reasons that this is important for South-South cooperation is because that Pentagon extends not only at an intranational level inside countries, but also between countries. It is true that there's been, in general terms, a geographic disp discrepancy between levels of wealth and concepts of work and indeed the future of work in the North and in the South. There's an opportunity now, indeed perhaps a call, for South-South countries to collaborate much more actively. That means that these five elements of the Pentagon might collaborate with each other, not only uh, in terms of their counterparts, so not only does academics from, uh, from certain Southern countries need to co collaborate with other academics in other Southern regions, but indeed governments perhaps from one country might uh, come to more uh, meaningful dialogues with academics in other South-South countries. And so, of course, the, this pentagonal configuration creates a multitude of possible dialogues and creates the platform for innovation in the future of work in South-South collaboration.